be persuaded that what God has said, he will surely do it. Abraham's hope was anchored in God's word. Remember, he started without any hope, and the Bible says against all hope, he believed. His hope was anchored on God's word. That is why Hebrews 11 says, faith is the substance of what? Things hoped for. It has to be rooted all in God's word. Your prompt obedience could be someone else's miracle. Mm -hmm. Your prompt obedience could be your own miracle. Amen. Remember I told you God gave me two names in terms of my activity that I was about to do in the next few minutes. One of them is not in church right now. And the other spirit said, due to disobedience. Imagine if she was here. She would have been part of this illustration and she would have received the promise that God laid on my heart to be a blessing to her. Your obedience, your prompt obedience could be someone else's miracle. I'm reminded years and years ago, Dr. C was teaching faith and healing here. And for those of you who remember, after faith and healing then, he typically calls anyone who is in need of sickness, who has sickness and disease or whatever. And people came up and then he called the ministry team. Pastor Peter, I don't know if you were here then. The ministry team to come and stand behind those people and pray with them. So I remember that particular day, everyone was lined up. I was behind someone on this section. And this lady walked up the line with a cane in her hand. When she got to the line, may I use your umbrella, please? When she walked up to the line, she picked up her cane and hung it over her arm, her elbow, and raised her arm like this, ready to receive. I was behind her, and the moment I got behind her, the Holy Spirit said, take her cane and throw it away. In all transparent moment, I believe we just got sued from the church a couple of weeks ago about something silly. So in my mm -hmm. mind, oh my goodness, Dr. C is going to be upset if this lady sues us just because I threw her cane away. <laughs> so guess what I did? I took her cane. Remember, prompt obedience, right? I took her cane and I did this. And the other spirit said, no, I told you to take her cane and throw it away. <laughs> so I took it and I threw it as far as possible to the front of the screen. Dr. C didn't know anything, but I was listening to God's voice. Prompt obedience. Your prompt obedience could be someone else's miracle. Dr. C came down, laid hands on the sick, all that good stuff. What do you think happened to the lady? She got healed. She got out of the line, jumping, screaming. And I was 